Hello friends, uh, my name is Sergei. I want to introduce you with my family. This is my wife. My name is Lena Krivanos. I'm glad to be here, but I didn't expect that uh, this way I uh, went here. This is my four sons. My name is Elisha. I am eight. Uh, my name is Andrew, I'm 12. My name is Sasha and I'm 14. My name is Kostya and I'm 12. We have one daughter. <laughs> my name is Katya and I'm 23. We are a missionary family. We involve in crew ministry during 24 years. We live in near Kyiv in the village, and our daughter lives uh, west of Ukraine, uh, Lviv. Uh, we uh, try to reach students in uh, university in Kyiv, and our goal to reach uh, uh, 40 different cities, and during this uh, year we opened um, four new cities, and last our con conference uh, we had a big success, and many students uh, came, but now started war in Ukraine. Uh, I'm also a full-time missionary. Uh, it's my second year in uh, crew staff, and uh, it's really interesting experience to help students. Uh, and when uh, the war began, we helped some refugees uh, near the railway station, and it was the, our goal to help people around us. One day before uh, the war began, uh, my mother had an idea uh, to buy a generator uh, because in the village uh, there can be no light. Uh, when the war began, I knew about places where there is a fight, but it's, it was very far from our place. We heard some sounds very far from our village, but uh, in, in a few days uh, we heard uh, some noises uh, very near to our house. Uh, then we heard many planes uh, which were very close and uh, also children were scary. Because of uh, bombing and these hits, our house trembled and also uh, we felt that we cannot hear very well because our ears have problems. Uh, in the news we heard that we should stay in the shelter, uh, it can be underground shelter and also uh, if we call our relatives we cannot tell them where exactly we hear these uh, scary sounds. It is important because uh, some soldiers from Russia they can just know the location, that's why we should uh, like keep calm and we should stay in the shelter and uh, don't, uh, we should, shouldn't say about our location. And uh, in three days we got used to this situation and uh, our legs were not trembling anymore. In a few days uh, some Russian army, like tanks, they were uh, uh, many tanks and they uh, were um, probably a few kilometers. We waited for a long time uh, until our army will help and rescue us from these tanks which were very close to our village. We had light uh, that time uh, in the village so we knew uh, that we can hide, we could knew different news. But uh, when the tanks were killed and uh, everything was clear there, uh, then we had no light in our village. We had a fireplace and we could just uh, stay uh, in the house or sometimes we didn't, didn't know should we uh, wait in the underground shelter or should we stay because no news and no light uh, and that's how we lived. We talked with our children about uh, death uh, and about life, about these different topics because we were afraid that something can hit our house and we prayed a lot uh, for uh, safety. When we heard news that another uh, column of uh, tanks is coming, uh, we just didn't know what to do and we were thinking what should we do next. 
Так прошло около 10 дней, и в какой-то момент... My husband and I, we decided uh, that we probably should go somewhere, because 10 days uh, passed, and also we didn't have enough fuel for generator. Um, and uh, on Friday night we decided to take all our stuff which we could take in our car. Also one person from our ministry, he called us, he's one of the directors, and he asked us to leave uh, our place because now we have a possibility to leave and we can use our car and also uh, because we have two adopted children, that's why we can go and uh, the people on the border, they can lead us uh, through and we can go to other country. As as we were uh, going to Hungary, uh, we passed all probably 30 different uh, like police stations, uh, which helped us to go and to make our way through. Now we are really glad that we can stay here in Hungary and that God saved our lives. And also uh, our daughter, it's me, uh, Katja, she uh, was in ICSB 10 years ago. And now we, uh, we think about this possibility for our boys also to join school. We had a, a huge ministry in Ukraine. This ministry didn't stop even when we came to Hungary. In Ukraine we had different types of ministry for sport ministry and also for uh, youth and uh, like SLM and ministry and different uh, things, but now they mix together. And now we stay in Vita in the special place where uh, about uh, 100 people uh, can be like refugees who can come and they can stay there safe. We are helping some refugees from Ukraine who come to Hungary and they come to this place. We can pray together with them. We can talk uh, a lot about this situation, about war, because people would like to share their uh, stories about their fears. The war didn't stop. Now there are a lot of different cities in Ukraine. Uh, different people come and uh, there are a lot of work to do to help these people. We believe that God can use us here in this place and also many other people can come from Ukraine and we can serve them here in Hungary. When we uh, went out of our village, we also took one girl, she's our neighbor's daughter, and she stays with us, she's 18 uh, years old, and she also uh, can help with volunteering here. Uh, we also see the opportunity to help Ukrainians here. Uh, our two adopted boys, they wanted a present for Christmas and they asked to uh, buy walkie-talkie. First, my mother thought that it's a very useless gift for Christmas and uh, we didn't know how we will use it. Usually we are all together as a family, that's why, why should we use this walkie-talkie and why should we buy it? When the war came, uh, our two boys, they decided to give this walkie-talkie to uh, our army and now uh, people who serve uh, our country, who defend our country, they use this walkie-talkie when they fly in the planes and it's really a miracle <laughs> to, uh, that this gift could help and serve. And by the end, of, uh, we, we are uh, very sad that we didn't buy a lot of these devices, so everyone could use it. And also this, our generator, which we left in our village, it also serves our army, because people uh, don't have light in some places, uh, so that's why they use this generator. У нас четыре мальчика, двое из них family, we have uh, three own children and two adopted. Two of them uh, dreamed yeah, to них, be abroad once. <laughs> it's конечно, really sad reason to be abroad oh, now, and we are glad that these boys can be safe now, and we hope that we will, the war will end, and we can return to Ukraine and can serve there.